The Coriolis Force, an important part of atmospheric science education. Now many groups have made videos trying to explain the Coriolis Force, yet many of these videos are misleading. Most Coriolis Effect videos depict students sitting on a merry-go-round like this one and have left students confused and lost. I have gone into the field to uncover the true explanation behind the Coriolis Force. I noticed in teaching the Coriolis Force to my students, the merry-go-round just wasn't cutting it. If it were really showing the Coriolis Force, the ball would be going in circles. The Earth isn't a flat spinning disk, but it's not a perfect sphere either. Because it's spinning, it bulges out some at the equator. In fact, the radius of the Earth at the equator is 20 kilometers greater than it is at the poles. Now that would mean objects would want to go to the poles, right? Yes, if it weren't for the Coriolis force and its cousin, the centrifugal force, we'd all be sliding toward the nearest pole. If you place a ball at the North Pole and kick it out toward the equator, it'll roll back just like it were in a bowl, a parabolic bowl. Luckily, our source has built a machine to expose the truth behind the Coriolis force. This Coriolis machine was constructed so that objects on its surface would move as they do on Earth. You can see the ice part go back and forth across the curved surface, but that mischievous merry-go-round doesn't offer this effect. Any ball kick out from the center of the merry-go-round will never ever come back. Instead, it'll fly off at the equator. Now let's spice things up and add a bit of rotation. We have two cameras, a rotating frame camera, it shows us how we see things on Earth, and a fixed camera that shows us how we would see things from a fixed frame of reference, such as from a spaceship stationary above the Earth. In a fixed frame of reference, we see the puck, which is like the ball, sliding back and forth, just as it was before, except now the bowl is rotating underneath it. But what about the camera that's rotating with the table? If we switch to that camera in the rotating frame, we see something completely different. The puck appears to be going around and around and around. Balls don't circle like this in the merry-go-round because gravity doesn't pull objects toward the axis of rotation. Whether the puck is going north or south, east or west, up or down, it's always turning to the right. So what have you shown us? With my device, you can see that the merry-go-round explanation for the Coriolis force misses something important for understanding and misses gravity. It's been a long struggle for students puzzling about the Coriolis effect. They've been turned every which way, trying to think of this merry-go-round as the Earth. But now we can reach out to help those students so that they, like you, can know the truth of the Coriolis effect here on Earth. I'm Jeff Renner, reporting from the field.